Hey everybody, Chris Crest here. So many of you know that I head out west to Colorado every couple of years or so to do some hunting around the mountains, looking for elk, mule deer, that sort of thing. So this year was one of those years that I got an opportunity to go out there. So uh, just uh, wanted to put together a little bit of a video just to show you guys the trip, some pictures and stuff like that, and uh, kind of bring you along with the experience. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the start of any hunting trip, of course, has to be getting your rifle sighted in, that sort of thing. So this year I opted to bring a new 6.5 Creedmoor made by Bergara and then my 6.5 Grendel AR-15 build. Of course, I had to start out by kind of breaking in the Bergara rifle because it was a brand new rifle at the time. So I spent quite a bit of time at the range and here you can see on my video that I have a pile of cleaning patches over on the side. Uh, as I was following the manufacturer recommended break-in schedule for the barrel. I know there's a lot of pros and cons on that and debate and that sort of thing, but I figured what the heck, I'll follow it. So then I started my trek out there. Anybody that's traveled out to Colorado coming from the east to the west most likely went through Kansas. Kansas is a beautiful state, however, there's not a lot there. It's a lot of farmland and stuff like that. However, one thing that I did do while I was there, I actually got a chance to stop and see my friend Adam, what you guys know is uh, Alpha Romeo 1.5. He runs a really good YouTube channel. He's coming up on 3,000 subscribers actually. And we got to hang out for one evening. I stayed at his place. Got to meet his grandma, which you all have seen on some of his videos. And we did get a chance to do a little bit of planking on his range. His range is pretty freaking cool. I really wish I had some space, some land to do something like that for myself for private use. However, you know, it is what it is. I really enjoyed my stay there and the hospitality that he gave was uh, was was really good and um, just uh, just had a great time. I kind of wish I would have had an extra day or so even to, to spend with him and, and his grandma. That's my favorite one. So I went ahead and took the opportunity over at Adam's place to check out my both of my hunting rifles. As you guys probably know, whenever you go from sea level where I am roughly 600 feet above sea level up to really high elevation, the, uh, your your zero can change a little bit. So I wanted to kind of check them out about 200 yards and just see see where they were at on some steel targets, and and they were spot on as you can see here. So. Adam, he got a chance to check out my 6.5 Grendel as well as my 6.5 Creedmoor, and I think I, I think I got him turned on to 6.5 Grendel, so we'll see what he comes up up with that. So once I left Kansas, I made my way over to Colorado, and here you can see kind of coming up through the Root National Forest, Root, I think is how it's pronounced. You can see they had a massive forest fire there last season. This was a couple hundred thousand acres 
of the area that was all burnt up and I can only imagine how many animals actually perished as a result of that because my understanding is they had very high winds and over a hundred thousand acres burned up overnight during this fire and it was actually started by hunters so hunters be out there camping pay attention to the, the the rules and the winds and stuff like that make sure your fires don't spread Once I got off the hard road, I had to make my way about six and a half, seven miles up through some, some dirt roads up to where our camp was. It was a pretty nice day. And of course I wanted to check out the uh, Baja mode on the, the new truck. So I uh, definitely had some fun kind of driving through the roads there and, and getting on it and listening to the exhaust and stuff like that. The, the truck was uh, pretty dang impressive the whole time. So I'll have a couple other clips throughout the uh, video of the truck driving around. So I made my way up to camp and we were camping at about 9,300 feet elevation and we normally put together two wall tents with uh, wood burning stoves. We had a common area there in green and then also a, a separate tent for kind of a kitchen area as well as even a shower area. And uh, just had a good time hanging out with the guys and uh, you know, had some nice campfires. Weather was absolutely gorgeous and uh, you know, got to eat a lot of meat and stuff like that. The views and stuff were were absolutely gorgeous as well, right from camp. Now in the morning of the opening day of the second rifle season there, I was actually having a little bit of elevation sickness, but I kind of plugged away and I got a little bit of a later start. I, I sat in the truck for a bit, but I'm so glad that I was able to overcome that and get out. It was just a gorgeous, clear day, and I made a hike up to a couple little high spots there. And uh, of course, uh, always a good opportunity for some nice pictures and whatnot. And I was hiking around with that 6.5 Creedmoor Vergara HMR rifle. And um, I will tell you one thing about that regard at 6.5 HMR. It is a little on the heavy side if you got to do a lot of high elevation mountain hiking. On the following day, I got to hang out with uh, one of my good buddies, Mike, that I hadn't seen in a long time. And we actually drove up early and, and got to see a sunrise up on a peak and got some pretty nice shots of the truck and the truck wasn't too dirty yet but I already had the chains on because it was uh, some snow melt and mud and stuff like that and uh, you know it was uh, it was pretty rough driving around there but golly the, the, the views from some of those peaks was just absolutely mind-blowing. So Mike and I spent a good bit of time kind of driving around the mountains and just trying to explore as much as we could to try to find where the animals were. We were looking for both elk as well as mule deer. I had a couple tags and we were hunting two units, unit 17 and unit 18. And some of us had doe tags or cow tags for one unit or the other. So it was a little bit of a challenge. Uh, we tried to explore along the border of both the units as best we could and we got some pretty pretty crazy narrow roads that were 
were a little rough for for the truck as far as the, the width of it, but, but it worked out pretty dang good. Mike and I had found a couple pretty nice clear cut areas that there was a lot of elk signs. So we decided to come back for a couple hunts there with the guys and whatnot. It was pretty cold the next morning as you can see here, but uh, didn't see anything, but it was just a gorgeous day out in the woods. So we, we really enjoyed it. So one of the pretty awesome features that the 2021 Raptor has is something called trail control. And essentially what it is, is it's think of cruise control, but for the off-road, you can go as low as I think it's a half mile per hour. And the idea is that you set this and you're in whatever drive mode. So in this case, I'm in uh, deep snow mode and uh, you just kind of set it and it senses the, the wheels, slippage and stuff like that. And it, it will transfer power one way or the other to kind of get you through certain conditions. And I use that thing anytime I was in deep snow and it truly worked so good. We saw a lot of people stuck and having issues and stuff like that. But this thing just plugged right through everything we threw at it, mud, snow, and whatnot. So elk hunting or mule deer hunting in the Colorado Rocky Mountains is probably one of the hardest things that I've ever done physically. Just the, the endurance that you need as far as hiking stuff, and I'm not in the best of shape, so it's it's probably worse for me than somebody that's that's in a lot better shape. But, but every time I come away from the experience, even though I'm exhausted and tired, I just always kind of look back at the pictures and the experience that I had and it's just absolutely amazing. Um, I always surprise myself physically, mentally, and um, just the views and the sights and experience, it's just all worth it. So the day before I left, the morning before I left, we actually mapped out a, a hike up about three miles each way up to up the mountains uh, to a couple of frozen lakes and uh, just absolutely gorgeous, you know, the lakes were indeed frozen and we tried to tried to uh, throw some rocks at it and break the ice and couldn't. I ended up shooting a couple holes in it, but didn't see any animals that day other than a, uh, a white rabbit and, uh, and that's about it. Just had a great morning. So now that afternoon of the last day before leaving, heading out of town, we actually mapped out a valley to, to go to and um, you know, there was definitely a lot more snow than what we had earlier in the hunt. Here you can see some pictures of my truck I stopped and took uh, up on top of one of the peaks that we saw early in the video that had no snow on it. And um, but anyways, uh, it was kind of a good thing that we went down this valley because uh, one of the guys with us, Ivan, he got a uh, nice mule deer buck and uh, we all kind of helped him field dress it down there in the bottom of that valley. and. Um, you know, had to take the ride back on the side by side, but it, it definitely was a nice way to wrap up the hunt and the experience and, and to at least get some meat in the freezer uh, for him. And uh, even though I didn't see anything to shoot at the entire time, I just absolutely enjoyed this trip. It was by far probably one of my favorite trip out there. Uh, I appreciate Eric and Ivan, all the hard work they did for folks coming from, from far east like myself to kind of put camp and stuff together and um, it's just uh, just truly a blessing to be able to make that trip you know on a, a physical level a financial level that sort of thing and uh, even though you know nothing to show for it at the end of the day uh, for myself personally you know uh, you can't take away the experience and the, and the memories of, of a trip like that so you know, just wanted to share a little bit about my adventure. <laughs> you know, another trip out to Colorado and uh, just had such a great time. And uh, just gonna roll in some pictures, you know, that I took on, kind of on the way out and, and from the trip overall. And um, yeah, so I appreciate everybody watching and sub subscribing and I will catch you on the next video. Y'all take it easy.